All right, so welcome back everybody. As you can probably see in the title and in the thumbnail, we are building us a way right here to stop cutting on the ground. Wound up with a herniated disc last year and was bedridden for a few days. And I have found that bending over and cutting for a while wrecks my back, your chain winds up hitting the dirt. And on these larger logs, well, there's just no way to prop them up properly. Cutting in a grapple doesn't work. There's just too many pieces of metal and risk for you to hit. And a lot of y'all reached out to me and said, build a log landing deck. I know y'all have watched a lot of sawing with Sandy's uh, log deck. I am not building nothing permanent out here until we get us a sawmill in and find out all the permanent locations of equipment up in my barn. So I thought I'd build some really quick, robust saw horses out of some scrap eight by eights that I have. This was quick, easy to put together. I don't really care how it looks. I don't care if we cut it up, but I needed it to be robust enough that it doesn't tip over with heavy logs and it needed to be robust enough to hold several thousand pound logs, you're not gonna crush eight by eight. So let me show you what we got here and then let's test this thing out. All right, so you just seen the construction here, triple stacked eight by eights. And then I put a couple in the middle. So whenever I grab this with the grapple and carry it around, it doesn't crush it. 
as well as I'm using these as major stops. I cut 45s on here, so if a tree wants to roll one way or the other as I'm sawing, well, it's eventually gonna hit a stop. And then I just use these uh, cutoffs right here, these 45s, I'm just gonna use them as wedges. That'll keep the tree from rolling while I'm cutting. Just put one on either side. We're gonna have different size trees in here, so those little movable wedges should be good. I've got plans in my head to build some fold out heavy duty movable uh, saw horses in the future that'll hold several thousand pound logs. I just don't have the time to build those right now. So this is quick and easy to throw together. Now it's wide enough that I should be able to cut a couple pieces off and then I'm gonna have to move to the other side and cut a couple pieces off. And I also designed this, the reason I wanted these in here as well, look at the big open hole that I have. So when we get down to the last piece, I'll find out where the center is, we can move it over. And instead of having to throw it on the ground and cut it, when I can cut straight through and my bar is not cutting anything, it's going in this big open cavity that I created. I did that on purpose. So this is great. I can literally stand straight up, no bending over, run my saw right through this my back is gonna love me for this. Now, yes, I understand this is not very productive. I'm cutting rounds that are gonna hit the ground. Then I'm gonna have to get back in the tractor, pick those rounds up and go stage them. There's nothing super productive about this, but it's going to save my back. Later, when we build us a log landing area, we'll really kick up production. There's two things I can do here. One, I can cut out here, get back in the tractor, pick up the rounds, go put them in there where we split around the log splitter. Or two, this is far more productive, move my big saw horses into here, put a log on, cut, and let everything just drop where it's at. Come get another log put on there until I fill up an area, move my saw horse back, and just have everything staged. The problem with that is, man, it makes such a mess cutting underneath here. I want it with such a mess to clean up after the fact. I think I'd rather take a little longer and make the mess out here. All right, so let's go ahead and mark this log out and test this out. Let's cut it. And you can see I'm cutting cherry. Me and Tiffany's about to go on a major cherry cutting spree because this wood is very important to me. It's what I do all my cooking over. And we have tons of cooking planned this year. So I need to go ahead and get a bunch of this split, staged out in the sun and drying as quick as possible. All right, that worked out beautiful. So easy on the back, just literally standing here, letting the saw do the work. This bending over, cutting for a while, uh-uh, I'm done with it. All right, now we're, we're not quite so productive. Grab the grapple, pick these up, stage them, get another log, set it. And I really only have to cut a few logs this size and I've got a pile of wood up there to split.
All right, y'all, that was a fun little build right there. Nice and quick, nothing fancy about this at all. But the important thing, it absolutely works. It's gonna save my back. And honestly, cutting up a couple trees running around here real quick, just leaving the tractor idling over there, it did not seem like it was that slow. And then if we can get out here and get Tiffany trained on the grapple, I could be cutting, she can bring a log, set it, be moving stuff. We could knock out so much cutting so quick, but for our production needs right now, unless things grow big time in the future, this works. And I've got a lot of these eight by eights left. What I could do is go build a second one of these and I can stage two logs at a time, cut two at a time, be a little quicker. What I'm probably gonna do in the future too to speed the process up, go down, grab all my logs and have them staged right here and then put one on, cut, everything's right here and it's no running back and forth. I've already got that taken care of. We can just stay right here working and don't let that tractor idle too terribly long. So the good news for me, all of this was free other than the nails I already had the scrap cut offs. This is from a barn build in the past. I already had the two by eight that I kind of, well, seamed everything together with. So it's pretty hard to beat free. If you were to go out and buy all this, yeah, you'd have well over a hundred dollars in doing this say out of six by sixes. It'd be even more money doing it out of eight by eights. But this is an unbelievably robust saw horse right here. I could put a several, several thousand pound log on here with zero issues at all. All right, let me know in the comments what you thought about this. Tiffany and I is gonna set some time aside coming up here and we're gonna come out and have a cherry splitting marathon. I'm gonna get this back out. We're gonna cut up a bunch of trees and we're gonna try to at least split a cord with our time together. And we're gonna continue to split until we have all the cherry split up. And then we're gonna move back to oak for some stuff that we may sell next fall and winter. Thank y'all for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.